what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're diving back into the demon slayer lair whatever that means but we are here to witness some greatness of course man this anime has really 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 pushed me to believe that people can do things and do it well you know um even more even more so because this anime you know it has a little bit of story to it you know there's a lot of heart in this anime to be honest i'm growing to love this pair of tanjiro and nezuko um more than anybody else in the anime right now um i know they're the main story driven but nezuko is growing she's getting stronger and she's not consuming humans um hopefully um her name i can't remember her name right now hopefully she can find something to to help nezuko with the with the uh the urge to to eat humans and stuff like that because i still think that thirst is there but she's trying to control it by sleeping a lot which is just fine you know which is fine so i'm hoping that things change in the future of course i don't think we're gonna find that out um here you know in this season i don't think that's gonna happen this season but still there's still some battles to come so in the last episode we watched we got introduced to this dude with the boar head on top of his head um i, I believe that's a mask it has to be right because unless we got a pig man in the story you know, but then again, this is anime and this is a world where demon exists. So it is a possibility that could be his real head, but I think it's a mask. I'm going to say it's a mask because I think it's only humans that are in the demon slayer core. Right. So um, he's a dual wield guy and I love people that dual wield swords. I think they're fire. I think in some ways they're better. They're they're usually faster than people who wield with one sword so it's usually faster usually can cut down faster um nobody really did that in real life so i don't want to compare it to real life it's just that it's it's just very cool to see and over the history it has proven that it in some ways it is more effective you know i.e sword art online so let's go check these episodes out we're doing what 12 and 13 right 12 and 13 12 and 13 today so let's go do that and i will see you guys for the review all right so that was episode 12 and 13 um uh, this anime is is growing on me you know what i'm saying it's growing on me if if i didn't like it before i definitely know i love it now it's it's very like um you know it's very hard it, it's i sympathize a little bit with with um with the demons a little bit because they're trying to do that thing where they want you to sympathize with certain characters in the show that comes off as evil from the get-go from you meet them right because you hear demon you think evil stuff so they're kind of trying to to make to, to kind of have you to sympathize with them by showing their backstory before they became a, a demon and all of that stuff. But, you know, in my opinion, I'm not saying that this is the same for you guys, but in my opinion, for me, um, it's very hard for me to sympathize. Um, and I understand what they went through, but it's a short amount of time to understand to to really comprehend what they go through it's not you know what i'm saying anybody can tell you a sob story but that does that mean that you feel sorry for the person in that moment you get what i'm saying so it's more of like sometimes things take time to build up like to sympathize with certain people you know what i'm saying um especially when you're watching something and it's not happening in real life it's not affecting you it's not person to person it's not face to face you get what i'm saying um so for me you know maybe you guys you know what i'm saying like for you know for the short amount of time you were able to kind of to to sympathize 
like as i said i understand but it's very hard for me to sympathize with the situation you get what i'm saying or feel sentimental because you were just trying to kill one of my dudes you know what i'm saying like it's like you trying to kill my friend and then you die and then your dying breath you're telling me this sob story I, it's hard for me to feel sorry <laughs> it's hard for me to feel sorry for you it's just like i was tanjiro said like i get it you know your power is awesome you are incredible but i can't forgive you for killing humans like i i can't do that so that's where i'm at it's like it's the same it's the same feeling like you know i can acknowledge you as an opponent but that doesn't mean that you know i can forgive you for for trying to kill me like <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it's so you got to understand it from that perspective like it's tough it, you know it's to the point of you know what i'm saying it's to the point of being a little meaningless you get what i'm saying for them to show these backstories you know and that's just my opinion as i said it doesn't make me feel sorry for the for the demon at all just like the first time when they did it um so it's like if you know and it looks like all of these demons they're gonna you're gonna get these short backstories of them it's not drawn out or anything i'm just saying i'm just saying for for sentimentality it's just very hard for you to be like okay that dude was a real one before he became a demon it's hard you get what i'm saying yes the person that was um talk talking shit to him that person is trash if he actually killed that guy which it looked like he it looks like he did um i don't know if he was a demon then that's the thing too you get what I'm saying? I don't know if that was just a depiction of what he wanted to do or did he actually do it because they showed the scene again before he died. So it was kind of like, did he actually did it or was he just saying that's what I should have done at that point? You know what I'm saying? So that was a little bit, a little bit um, confusing there. But for the most part, so for the most part, these two episodes were really good. I'm getting into it. I'm more interested in the demon slayers than the demons really um we know what tanjiro's story is we know what his story is zanetsu want to know more about him because he's a very interesting character in my opinion a lot of people have, have told me in in the comment section that a lot of people don't like zanetsu and as i said i don't hate what he is you get what i'm saying i don't hate what he is um in practically every anime you have a character that's like this so it's not surprising to me that there's a character like this but there's a, another element that we found out about him which i believe he has dual personalities which if you've ever met anybody with du dual personalities you will understand what i'm talking about dual personality is actually a medical diagnosis is actually a mental illness right it doesn't work like that though in real life you know what I'm saying? But anime always have these interesting concepts that they put behind, you know, sicknesses and stuff like that, that can empower those individuals that are in life suffering with this real mental illness, which is really cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, some people really disassociate with certain things in their life. And you know what I'm saying? You might have one part is be like, oh, you know, you wake up one minute, you're like, oh, did I do that? And they don't know that they did it. And you're like, what? It's like a different person took over their body. It is an actual mental illness. So this is a cool way, a cool spin on that, and I'm I'm for it. It's not the first time I've seen it in anime. So um, he attacked, and that was beautiful. When that other side of him takes over, I think there's a the, the other side of him is a protective side. You get what I'm saying? Um, I think is I think it's a protective side, as in. Um, you know, it kicks in and handles business. You know what I'm saying? It's all protecting um, Zenitsu himself and also other people around him. You get what I'm saying? And I think that's how he probably got through the um, final selection because I was wondering, I was wondering, I was like, how did this guy get through final selection? But they proved it in that episode. And I'm kind of, I'm loving the thunder breeding. Like the thunder breeding, it just, it looks more, it looks cooler to me. Like I understand Tanjiro's water, um, water breathing. Like I get that. I, I like it, but the thunder breeding was just fire. Um, let's just be honest. Like the thunder breathing, 
they don't play no games. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he has the real like summarized stance too. Um, so that was pretty cool. I like that. Um, so, so yeah. So Zanetsu, this boarhead dude is a real asshole, ain't he? Um, he just came in just trying to kill Nezuko. We ain't having that. So thank God that Zenitsu was out there protecting and decided to protect Nezuko based on what Tanjiro said to him. He knew that there was a demon in the box, but you know what I'm saying? That didn't stop him from saying, let me protect him because, I mean, protect her, you know, um, for Tanjiro. So that was pretty cool. So Tanjiro is now launching himself against this dude um that i'm figuring that they're gonna get into a tussle or probably not um i'm guessing that tanjiro is probably going to explain to them why you know what i'm saying um so we'll see how things go um we'll see how things go but in any but in any case i'm enjoying the series this was pretty cool these two episodes are pretty cool I'm gonna try to do another couple in a couple of days so just look out for that anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in as always it's your boy terabyte reacts remember to like comment subscribe if you're new and i'm out of here peace